Uh, t uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the actual film and what your focus was on. Well, uh, State of Exception is a David and Goliath story about communities in Rio rising up to defend their communities against forced eviction before the World Cup and the Olympics. So um, when an uh, urban indigenous community was threatened with forced uh, eviction, the residents there refused to see um, the colonial history of Brazil repeat itself and rose up peacefully but with a fierce resistance uh, to uh, fight back and mobilize the citizens of Rio to defend uh, themselves against that. So it's filmed over the course of six years in collaboration with a team of um, uh, guerrilla, uh, media journalists in uh, Rio who collaborated in the making the film through a participatory methodology and um, yeah it's crafted like a, drama a, a dramatic uh, narrative so it's uh, um, yeah an inspiring David and Goliath story. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it, like uh, a surprising fact that you figured out uh, while you were producing or putting together this film? Um, I mean, there were so many uh, surprises along the way. I, I guess uh, what I found most inspiring from the process was the uh, tenacity and resilience of uh, these communities to uh, continue their struggle with, uh, I must say, uh, uh, quite surprising joie de vivre, despite the rather harrowing circumstances they face, um, to bear witness to that uh, uh, joie de vivre was quite uh, something unexpected and uh, inspiring for me as a storyteller. And what do you want to get out of um, with this film? Like, what what kind of message do you want to uh, relay to people around the world? Uh, what do you want to tell them uh, specifically, or what's your focus in regards to the message you want to uh, portray? Um, well, it's not necessarily a message film and in, in, in that I hope the audience takes from it what they will, but um, no question in terms of my motivation for making the film, what drew me to Brazil almost seven years ago to start making this film was uh, the consistent pattern these events have had through, uh, around the world of privatizing the benefits and socializing the costs. And when you uh, take that dynamic to a country like uh, Brazil, that uh, where this current socio-political landscape, it, where con uh, corruption is rife, it was um, a recipe for things to go awry, as they unfortunately did. Um, but uh, as I started by saying, it's not, this isn't a, a story about helpless victims. On the contrary, it's an inspiring story of human resilience and the way communities uh, rise up to resist these injustices. So uh, I expect and hope folks not to walk out of the theaters feeling discouraged or uh, hopeless, but on the contrary, inspired by these incredible people and their stories. Uh, tell us a little bit about the support uh, you've gotten uh, for this film, of course. Well, um, there's not really much uh, support to speak of, frankly, apart from uh, the Toronto and Ontario Arts Councils who uh, came to support this project quite early, about four years ago, as well as uh, my crowdfunding supporters. So I owe a huge debt of gratitude to the community who mobilized around the film and helped made it possible because the commercial broadcast industry that funds the majority of documentary films uh, did not... Um, support this project one iota and the project was denied funding 18 times so it was made completely outside the commercial uh, broadcast system and it's well and truly an independent film in the pure meaning of that word so uh, all credit due to the arts councils and the crowd funders who uh, supported the project and kept uh, it was the essential lifeline to finish the film very nice uh, not a lot of people get to uh, do a film like that and get financing like that from uh, crowdfunding. But uh, now tell us uh, wh what it feels like to actually uh, be here at Hot Talks and having your movie at this uh, wonderful platform. Uh, it's a real honor to premiere the film at Hot Docs. Uh, as a Toronto native, I've attended the festival for many years and uh, even worked at the f uh, as a volunteer at the festival many years ago. So uh, it feels really great to bring the film to a home audience and uh, a, l a large number of the crowdfunder supporters who made the film possible are Toronto locals. So it'll be great to present the film for all of them before taking the film back to Brazil, of course. Well, thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you. Pleasure.